there are two obvious ways that you can use unit studies in your homeschool. You could either purchase a pre-planned unit or you can create one yourself. In the past, we have used several of Gather Round's homeschool units and I highly recommend them. I think that we will continue to use many of their lessons in the future as well. However, I really enjoy following my children's interests and whatever's going on around us at the time and creating units off of those things. So I wanna show you how we go about creating our own unit studies and how we make sure to incorporate multiple subjects in that. This is a document that I've created for my family to help as a guideline as we come up with ideas. When my boys say, can we learn about this? We can write the topic at the top of it and then write down some of the resources or ideas that we have. It's like a big brainstorming page. I print off multiples of these at one time and keep them in my planner so that we can continue adding to them until the time is right for us to pull it out and use that unit. I wanna provide this document for you and your families as well. So you should be able to find it down in the description box below. This summer, my kids really wanted to go to Mount Rushmore. So we got out a document and we started filling in the different areas. For science, I thought this might be a little bit more difficult, but it really wasn't because we're gonna be exploring caves so we can learn about rocks, we can learn about land formations. Of course, we can learn about prairie animals also. History is easy for Mount Rushmore. We can learn about the presidents. We can learn about the Native Americans who live there. We can learn about South Dakota. And so that was not a problem to fill out. As we learn, we can be journaling all of these things and that counts as handwriting. And then we need to use math in figuring out how much money everything's going to cost and that we need to plan to have to take with us. We can figure out what the distance is to Mount Rushmore and then between each of the different things that we want to do. So there's actually a lot of math that we can incorporate as well. After filling out the front, we flip it over and this is the fun part on the back. We get to start filling in all of the resources and creative ideas that we might have that we want to do. So first I check with what do we have on hand? We have books about presidents, we have books about rocks, we have books about landscapes, about states. So I can start filling those in here. Then I might look online to see what other people are recommending for that topic and I can write them in and check with my library to see if they have those resources available. What about other things like foods you might wanna try if you're learning about a different country or crafts you might wanna do, games, uh, streaming videos. There are so many good online resources. So we can list those all out here so that I have them when the time comes. And then field trips. Well, for us, we're actually going to go to Mount Rushmore. And if you want to follow along with our day to day lives and see what we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram. I'll be posting about that trip on there while we're going. Now, these are just ideas and resources that we could use, but as we actually use them, I'm going to use a highlighter to mark them or put an X next to them. And this will help keep a record of what we have done. And I also keep records in our reverse scheduling planner. Uh, do you do reverse scheduling? If not, you might want to. I have found it to be incredibly helpful. You can check out how we do reverse scheduling in this video right here, or you might be interested in checking out the units that we plan on doing in the fall and how we plan to use loop scheduling. That video is here.